because you can teach skills all day long. You can send them to classes, but what you cannot do is teach somebody to be someone that they're not. Another $4 million strategy episode here with J.M. Ryerson, CEO of Let's Go Win. Topic today is people hiring. J.M., how do we make sure we have our hiring to make the biggest difference in our business? You have to know who you're looking for. And I'm not talking about resumes. So often people will grab a resume and they're like, oh, they're incredible. Well, what are the attributes that you're looking for? What do you mean? I'm, I'm looking for this job description. No, you're not. You're looking for somebody that actually, to go back to our values, to go back to the culture of our company, you want to know that they have the three core values in their DNA. It's who they are because you can teach skills all day long. You can send them to classes, but what you cannot do is teach somebody to be someone that they're not. So the reticular activating system, which is the prefrontal cortex of your brain, when you're real clear on the three things that you're looking for, guess what? They start to show up. You know this is the person that you're looking for. And there's one other piece. If you can do this, once you're clear on the attributes you want, if you can at all involve the spouse or significant other in the interview process. Now, I'm not an HR guy, so we're clear, but if you can, you are not interviewing them. They're interviewing you because so often we'll hire somebody, but we don't get the real buy-in from everybody at the home. In fact, you'll have an adversary at home with the spouse, or you can have an advocate, but it all comes down to your ability to really let them know. And it happens so easy, Carl, because people are traveling for business. Well, now they're all pissed off because their person's gone. You want to let them know, hey, there's going to be some travel involved, but here's the vision. Here's where we're going. So for me, that's the two things. If you want to really increase your hiring and your product, your productivity, get real clear on the attributes and secondly, involve the significant other on the interview process. I love that concept and the significant other in the interview process because, you know, the, the classic saying, and we'll use the term for the happy wife, happy life, right? Concept. If they're in, and then secondly, you're also going to understand if it said if they're hating it and they're coming back to, and there is something going wrong in that situation, are you going to have a happy person coming into work each day? No. And they won't be with you long-term. In fact, uh, my best example, I had a guy that I hired that represented the entire Midwest for an operation that was around the West coast or excuse me, around the country. And I didn't involve his wife. He was making more money than he had ever. They just bought their dream home, but she was so unhappy because John, I'll call him, John wasn't coming home as often as she wanted. I flew out to Chicago just specifically to go have dinner. I let her know what this would look like for the next year. And guess what? They're still in that dream home. She's happy as can be. But if you don't involve them, I promise you, you're going to have some challenges down the line. Love that. And I love it how you took the next step. It's one of those really missing pieces. And people try to separate work and home. Hey, JM, thank you so much for crushing it on another episode of $4 million strategies with your expertise on people hiring. Thank you, brother.